Windsor McKay was born in 1867 or 1869, the exact year is uncertain. He grew up in Michigan, USA. Even as a young boy, McKay loved to draw. He had a natural talent for art. McKay's early life was filled with a fascination for images and a drive to create. McKay's formal art training was limited. He learned by doing, practicing his skills constantly. He started his career as a poster artist and illustrator for newspapers. His work quickly got noticed for its detail and energy. In 1891 McKay married his wife, Maud Leonore Dufour. They would have two children, Robert and Marion. Family life provided stability for McKay, it also gave him inspiration for some of his later work, particularly his beloved Little Nemo comic strip. McKay's early years were a mix of hardship and determination. He was driven by a passion for art and storytelling. This passion would soon make him a pioneer in the world of comics and animation. Windsor McKay's career took off when he started drawing comic strips. His most famous strip, Little Nemo in Slumberland, was first published in 1905. This groundbreaking comic followed the fantastical dreams of a young boy named Nemo. Little Nemo was an instant success. Readers were captivated by McKay's incredible drawings. His detailed backgrounds and imaginative characters transported them to a world of dreams. McKay's use of perspective and architectural elements in Little Nemo was revolutionary. He played with the size and shape of panels, creating a dynamic and engaging reading experience. Beyond the visuals, McKay's storytelling in Little Nemo was equally impressive. He explored themes of childhood, dreams, and the power of imagination. Dream of the Rare Bit Fiend was another popular comic strip by McKay. Published in 1904, this strip focused on the bizarre and often disturbing hallucinations of its characters. The strip allowed McKay to indulge in darker humor and surreal imagery, further showcasing his artistic range. With these two iconic strips, McKay solidified his place as a master of the comic strip medium. Windsor McKay was not content with just drawing still images. He was fascinated by the idea of making his drawings move. In the early 1910s he took his first steps into the world of animation. McKay's early animated works were short films based on his comic strip characters. He used a painstaking process involving thousands of individual drawings. Each drawing was slightly different, creating the illusion of movement when played in sequence. One of his first animated films was Little Nemo in 1911. This film brought his beloved comic strip character to life on the big screen. It was a huge success and established McKay as a pioneer in animation. McKay's animation techniques were groundbreaking. He was one of the first animators to understand the importance of timing and spacing in creating believable movement. He experimented with different frame rates and drawing styles to achieve fluidity and expressiveness in his animations. Section 4, Gertie the Dinosaur, A Star is Born. In 1914, Windsor McKay created what is considered his masterpiece of animation, Gertie the Dinosaur. This short film featured a charming and playful dinosaur named Gertie. Gertie interacted with the audience, responding to McKay's commands. Gertie the Dinosaur was revolutionary in its use of animation. Gertie was not just a series of moving drawings, she was a character with personality and emotions, brought to life by McKay's artistry. To create Gertie, McKay had to overcome immense technical challenges. He drew tens of thousands of individual frames on rice paper. Each frame was then photographed onto film. The result was a level of detail and fluidity that was unprecedented in animation. Gertie the Dinosaur was a sensation. Audiences were amazed by the realism of Gertie's movements. The film cemented McKay's reputation as a true visionary in the world of animation. Section 5. The Enduring Legacy of Windsor McKay Windsor McKay's career was tragically cut short in 1934 when he died from a cerebral embolism. He was only in his early 60s. Despite his relatively short life, McKay left an indelible mark on the world of art and animation. McKay's influence on future generations of animators was profound. Walt Disney, Max Fleischer, and countless others cited him as a major inspiration. They built upon his techniques, pushing the boundaries of animation even further. McKay's work continues to be celebrated today for its artistry, innovation, and enduring charm. His films are studied in animation schools around the world. His comic strips are admired for their beauty and imagination. Section 6 A Lasting Inspiration Windsor McKay was a true pioneer. 
He pushed the boundaries of what was possible in both comics and animation. His work was not only technically groundbreaking but also emotionally resonant. He created characters and stories that continue to captivate audiences today. McKay's legacy is a testament to the power of imagination and the enduring appeal of hand-drawn animation. He showed the world that drawings could be more than just static images. They could be brought to life with creativity, skill, and a lot of hard work. Windsor McKay's name is synonymous with the early days of animation. He helped to shape the medium into what it is today. His work continues to inspire and amaze, reminding us of the magical power of animation. Please join our channel for more animation and animation history.